Hi everyone, welcome back to another GarageBand how-to. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to connect a guitar, whether that's electric or acoustic, how to connect it to GarageBand. So a couple things you're going to need in this video. Well, you're going to need a guitar. I'm going to use my electric there. We're going to need an audio interface. That's what we're going to use to connect and a patch cord. This is a guitar cable. What's going to happen is we're going to uh, plug this guitar cord into our guitar. It's going to send the signal into our interface. We're going to plug it right in. And this interface is going to exchange or transfer that analog audio signal to a digital signal that the GarageBand can read and understand. The interface needs to be plugged into your computer via USB. So first plug your guitar in here. Plug in to your interface. And now at this point, we're kind of getting pretty close. We have to go track, new track, connect a guitar or bass. This is what we want, this box. We don't want this, we don't want this, we don't want, we don't want this, we want this one. Now, this is important down here. Input, we want to choose the right input. And by the way, I'm using another interface, not this one, if you're wondering what's going on. On your interface, the input is where you plug in the guitar. So is your, plug, is your guitar plugged in the first one or the second one? or the third one or fourth, you might have 16 inputs. You might only have one, but you'll still need to say one in GarageBand here. You have to go and click one. So I'm going to be plugged in in the first, the first one here. So make sure that it doesn't say two or else that's not going to work. So it needs to go and say one. Create this channel. I'll double click this and, and rename it Electric Guitar Lesson. Now we want to double check that our our interface is connected properly. So if you haven't done that yet, go to GarageBand Preferences and make sure under Audio MIDI that you have, ignore my settings, but make sure your input and output is your audio interface. So whether it's the Focusrite Scarlet Pro like this one or some other interface, make sure that's set up. Now, when we are ready to record, either we can actually record our instrument if we just want to listen to it, we, we can have the sound come out of our speakers or we can have the sound come out of our, our headphones. The choice is yours there. So have a strum on your guitar. Nothing's coming in. So that means you need to increase the gain on your interface, this knob here. We need to increase that until we can see a bit of green coming in right around this area I'm talking about. Now, this is the thing about the difference between GarageBand and Logic. You can't see the actual, um, the numbers, the number of decibels coming in on GarageBand as you can in Logic. So we kind of just have to go visually in GarageBand. We want this green bar. We don't want it to hit yellow. So that's a bit too loud. So I'll decrease the gain on my interface. Play what you would play and get it to a point That's pretty good. It's coming in green. It's not coming in red. You can even go a little bit less so you have peace of mind. And we could solo it out. And we're ready to record now that we've set the gain. And we, all we have to do is press R. And now we're recording. You can see my guitar coming in there. If you don't want to have a preset, because it gives us automatically a preset in GarageBand. If we don't want that, we have to go to our editor here and we can remove these plugins. And now, what that's gonna give us, we remove all these plugins on our guitar. It's just gonna give us a clean audio signal. Terrible playing, but that's me playing the guitar, right? What I did right there. If you don't want the clean signal, you can just go over to the library here, go to electric guitar and choose a chicken picking. Like, it's gonna ask you if you wanna change it. Yes, we do. This is what chicken picking sounds like. Clean echoes. That kind of sounds cool, right? So use the presets available that give you kind of amp modulators because when you record directly into an interface, you need this, you don't need, but it's good to have this type of amp modulator because without it, you're just coming in clean. That's how to record and how to connect your guitar and how to record guitar in GarageBand. Thanks for sticking around for this GarageBand how-to, and I hope to see you in the next one.